My name's Craig Williams, it's my wife Carmela Orlando. We met uh, through the Adelaide Ute Club and uh, we both have a passion for holding utes. We got married uh, last end of last May. Uh, yeah, May, yeah. And, um, we got all our close mates together and, and some really nice utes. We had five utes in the wedding. Five utes. Yeah. And we did have a classic Ford as the lead wedding car, but um, most of the others were all holding, so that, <laughs> that made up for it. Going back just before Christmas, it was our 48th wedding anniversary. So we were looking through 46. Of, 46, I'm all, yeah. One of our uh, albums, and um, on our honeymoon, I didn't realise at the time, but looking at the photograph, we were actually went on a trip to Canberra on our honeymoon in an EH Ute, and it's identical to the one that I now own. So. Perhaps that's another reason that I have fond memories of the EHU. But you know what, 46 years ago, I don't really remember. <laughs> but I do remember it was cold. <laughs> and it's got a heater in it. I love this car, it's got a heater in it. Yeah, the old one, the one we went on our honeymoon, I don't think it did. No. But, uh, and it was very cold, but we slept in the back occasionally. It was a great vehicle. Yep, one of the best. Things you used to do. <laughs> He's, that's true too. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the worry. <laughs> Our kids might see this. <laughs> it's an all original vehicle. There's nothing been altered on it. The only thing I've done, put a lot of elbow grease into it and polishing it up and I have actually repainted it, but it's the original colour. It's got a radio in it. That's the only thing that's not original. I have put a later model in because when we do a little bit of travelling, which we do in this vehicle, it's comforting to be able to switch on and be able to listen to a bit of music, etc. It does get a bit of use. Um, so it's, I've clocked up from 50,000 miles up to about 68,000 miles. I've been threatened not to sell it. It will eventually go to my daughter and um, we'll have a lot of fun out of it in the meantime. This is my FJU and my pride and joy and uh, it's in mint condition and I'll treasure it till the day I die. And I have seven beautiful grandchildren who are enjoying the benefits of this as well by going to the street parades every year and my seven beautiful grandchildren get dressed up ready for Father Christmas and on the back of the ute we go and handing out lollies and sweets. It's been a great experience for me. The whole family thoroughly enjoy it and I think the grandkids are eyeing it off for you future years and for their um, benefit I guess to do some wheelies in it. I, I reckon they might do some wheelies but I'm going to keep it under wrap for a little while. I can tell you one or two stories about this ute. Uh, it's had several trips to uh, the inland, like uh, in Amiga, Birdsville, Windora, Charleville, and Junda, and places like that. Took my grandson up to Inamika. We struck a bit of rain, and uh, I sat on this sand hill there while all these four-wheel drives were sitting around, and they said, "Where are you going with that?" And I said, "Inamika." And uh, anyhow. Uh, there's a truck bogged down in the middle of the road in front of me and uh, I called him on the radio and he said, what are you in? And I said, oh, this WB. He said, bring it down here, I'll get you around. So away we went, we got to Inamiga that night, no worries, and these fellows next day come along and they said, how long have you been here? I said, last night. They couldn't believe that we'd got through and they were sitting there waiting for it to dry out. The uh, original motor has been reconned uh, once 
around about the 320s, 350,000 k's and it's probably done 80 to 100,000 since then. But uh, I think it's running better now than brand new. Does not use any oil, etc. So uh, I'm happy. I reckon that's done a magnificent job. So as you can hear, it's ticking over like a new one. I uh, used it at a road runner between a farm we had from between Borough and uh, Ningen in New South Wales, which was a round trip one way of about a thousand k's. We used to do that in eight and nine hours in those days, but you wouldn't be going to cruise like that now. I'm quite happy with it. And uh, one stage I said about selling it to my son. He said, no way. He said, you stick to that. And he said, I'll have it when you're gone. So that's where we're hanging on. My son actually lives here as well. And uh, he's got the other two utes that I've had. So uh, we'll go and see them directly. I've had this ute since 1973, this one tonner, HQ. This is my son, John. Hello. It was used on the farm and uh, I used it for general town use and so on and cutting produce to show. We moved to Ningen in New South Wales and it was taken up there. It was still used as a bit of a hack and uh, in and out of town etc and backwards and forwards when needed to borough. When we sold up there, son John took it over and uh, he can carry on with the story. Yeah, I remember uh, travelling to Ningen in New South Wales in it and it was bloody slow. We used to only be able to do 110 k's, 100 k's max, and I used to hate going up there. It was a 10 hour drive instead of an eight hour drive. Bloody awful. There was no air con or anything, and it was just shocking. <laughs> and, and Dad used to treat it as the town ute, you know, and we, we'd go into town shopping, we were 40 mile out of town, and we'd wipe the seats down and everything before we bloody go into town. We didn't want to get the back of our shirts dirty and stuff like that. And, um, and then I took it over, at, and uh, I used it as a shearing vehicle. Then uh, we bought uh, transport operation, that was a delivery vehicle. And then my wife and I sold the business that we had and uh, we packed up the old one tonner and uh, mucked around, changed motors, put V8 motors in it, different diffs, and put an air con, under dash air con, and, and uh, made it a highway vehicle. A limousine. A limo, <laughs> yeah. And then we, we, we were off, we headed around Australia, we, we were going. It did make four trips across the Nullarbor, uh, which weren't too bad. I'd rather do that than head to Ningen <laughs> 10 years earlier in the bloody thing with a, at 100 k's an hour. And then, uh, then we came back to Borough to live. We bought a hardware store. This was our delivery vehicle uh, for six years. Um, and still my main vehicle, I remember going to a very prominent gentleman's funeral in Adelaide in the old one tonner and it wasn't a good look <laughs> pulling up there. <laughs> the decision was made to keep it but uh, upgrade for a better delivery vehicle which we did for our work. Um, then we bought a second business. This vehicle came over and this was a delivery vehicle <laughs> again uh, until a year or so after that we did upgrade again to get something better. And now it is uh, hasn't been used a lot. It's it's been deregistered about a year ago, which is the first time in its working life that it wasn't registered. As you can see now, it is uh, it's quite handy to put stuff in and on. Um, I ran out of room in the back, so I had the bonnet all loaded up with the stuff, and as well as on top of the cab. Um, but every now and then I empty it out and get it out and try to try to not to load it up with too much rubbish. It still goes. I had it out not that long ago. Um, we've got a few acres down here, I've loaded her up and took the kids in and did some circle work and mucked around and <laughs> that was a bit of fun. But um, I, don't, I doubt whether we'll ever sell it, it'll just stay here and we'll keep it. Uh, ideally I'll restore it one day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a good old work bus this thing. Very reliable and, and it's part of us. <laughs>